Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio Friday Facts discussion video. I am joined by Gepwin and A Crying in Shame. Hello. Hello. And uh, yeah, so this one is, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I know you, Gepwin, you were, you're really excited about this. Yeah, so, so this was just interesting because I've been, I was thinking about this like the last couple weeks. Like I've had this, this kind of idea in my head and I kept debating whether I should like put it on any of the request boards and things for features. And then it just pops up on the Friday facts. Like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so what they're doing, I mean, the title is pretty straightforward. Programmable speaker. Um, so what they've done is they've added in like an entity that allows you to make music or sounds or announcements in the game via combinators and circuit networks is my understanding from it. Yeah, that's what it seems like. And it also can do alerts, which is really cool. It seems like it can kind of function like a drum machine in some kind of way, according to the, according to some of the write-up, like just all kinds of cool stuff. Well, that was the one thing I was excited about was the alerts. The fact that there's like, you can actually have an alert that says the West Iron Mine is running out of iron. Like that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, which is so much better than just having that stupid alarm thing every time a biter attacks you. That's this is the only real uh, like alert you get in the game right now. Yeah. It also means you can put alerts for, hey, you're running low on power. Yeah, yeah, that would be really nice because, you know, sometimes you don't notice. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then your speaker wouldn't work because it doesn't have any power. Well, if it so. has power, like you could like do, you know, I mean, you can do like what you do with other backup systems. Just have, I don't know, like attach it to like one steam engine, like that's in a separate yeah. network or something. Um, but uh, yeah, so it says here when the server... Sure. Hmm? Solar panel with an accumulator. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, do, do that. That's probably a better option. Um, so it says here, when the circuit condition is true, the speaker will play a selected sound and show the optional GUI alert, which is like what we see down here with the West Iron Mine is out of iron, um, which I'm not really sure how it would know that. Like, would you like connect your miners to iron to the network or like how would it know? I think well, it's a I could think of a few ways to do that. But what it also is interesting because it means you can type in your own custom alert. Like if you if you click the show alert button, that means this looks like it would pop up a little dialog box that you could actually type whatever alert text you want in. Because yeah. otherwise, like you wouldn't have West Iron Mine. Like this one, I can think of three ways to do it. You can uh, connect up a couple of things to your belt itself and see if it's no longer putting out iron, or you can connect it to like a to one of your train chests if you have it hooked up to trains and see if the train chests aren't filling enough. So I think it's just whatever you want to set that, and then that'll send out a a signal along your circuit network. Say, you know, you set that to signal W for West Iron Mine, and then when the speaker receives signal W or stops receiving signal W, this thing will pop up. Yeah. Yeah, that that would be would be reasonable to assume. And um also another option they show here is the global playback. So you can have it play globally regardless of where you are on the map or like just within like the vicinity of the speaker itself which is pretty cool yeah so that means we can actually set up a system where when somebody puts one of their pistols into our the, ch the death chest it'll alert everybody that that person had died <laughs> yep you're gonna be spammed quite a bit by me <laughs> <laughs> you could also do some neat stuff this means that you could have your with the global stuff you could have the alert speakers set up at the iron mine outpost itself instead of having to run signals all the way back to your main base mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's a really good point too mm -hmm. or make a custom soundtrack like have a bunch of different songs programmed into your thing and just have them play on a little <laughs> loop and have a custom like custom music oh yeah i mean i know i mean these people you know have made these ridiculous light displays you know they're just they're just going to be making like whole songs and albums in factorio i mean yep um th there's a, a video which we're kind of gone down to now of a demo that the devs have made and hopefully i don't get copyrighted for this it's not like copyright claimed it's literally just a song they made with combinators um <laughs> so i'm gonna play it here and uh it's like 20 seconds so hopefully we can uh, be quiet for just a few seconds i'll try my best so tell me when you start all right i'm gonna start playing it now
All right. So, uh, yeah, so they say here, everything you hear is created inside Factorio, which, I mean, that's pretty damn awesome, because, I mean, that sounds like a legitimate song. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I love the way they're doing it, because this is just, like, like, I think you could set it up without the belts and things and use clocks and various timer circuits. But this thing, just it just reminds me of, like, a player piano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, what they're, they're, like, using the items to, like, determine the condition or something? To... Yeah, so if you, I mean, you don't have to rewatch it right now, but when people go and look at this, if you play the video and watch closely the first belt, the one on top, every time a different item passes that second uh, belt belt detector there, it changes which note is playing in kind of the main beat. Interesting. Yeah, I noticed that as well, that the... The what beat is like playing, like what instruments you being used is determined by what item is being read. Yeah, yeah, which is fun because if we go, I mean, I, there were so so many little things to unpack in this. Because if you look at the programmable speaker um, uh, GUI icon here, it it has drop down menus, which we haven't actually seen in the combinators before. It's always been like click through for greater than, less than, etc. But now it's got a drop down for that and a drop down for instruments and a drop down for notes, which is oh. just, you can have way more options this way without having to click through every single thing because it's already a play into to like click through the four options we have. I didn't even notice yeah, that. I didn't even notice that right. either. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> that's a good yeah. pick. Yeah, that's a, a really good good thing to notice. And, and my, my guess would be that this is part of their whole GUI overhaul. Um, it would not surprise me if the combinators themselves uh, have drop-down boxes as well in 15. Yeah, probably. I think, I'm, I'm guessing anything. And just uh, anyone who's reading this, go to the long list of circuit network ideas link at the top because that's just like my personal wish list. Like I was reading through <laughs> it and it's basically everything I've wanted from combinators. Oh geez, yes, yeah. All these things. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, I'm not a, really a circuit network person, um, but as far as this goes, I mean, this even excites me that this would be almost worth me learning combinators enough to to make songs and alerts and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm. Yeah. It's it's just I've been thinking about this, and I keep I keep kind of saying this about Factorio that for Factorio to keep lasting as a good game with a lot of content and a lot of user created content, you need ways to be creative in the game. Like if you compare it to something really really popular like Minecraft, which is kind of a tired thing to do at this point, but Minecraft is super popular and has stayed super popular because of the infinite ways that you can be creative and they keep adding new ways to be creative. Yeah. So now that you can make music and you can make visuals with the lights and just more circuit things, like the more creative options you have, the longer the game is going to last and the longer the community is going to be kept healthy. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it looks down here, like the first, the, the paragraph under the video um, it looks like you can actually have the speaker and stuff actually say words, like, like, like obviously it has the alerts, but it, it says down here, um, like, like with the, the modders can add stuff and they say, yeah, they imagine there will be a voice pack mod that could be programmed using combinators to speak things like crude oil is low. Yeah. So I would imagine awesome. that they just, since they just have it hooked up to sound files that like as a, a mod could just be put in that puts in extra sound files you could select from. Yeah. That, that, that would probably be how. So if anybody, so if any modders out there want to contact us and get like a Cractorio voice pack, we'd be completely open for that. <laughs> completely. Yeah, <open> totally. <laughs> yeah. That would, um, just give us a list of things that we need to say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's... we all have microphones. <laughs> it works out. I think that would be pretty, pretty damn awesome, actually. You know, that would be fantastic having having stuff like that. So that kind of, I mean, there's a lot more to do here, but you know, again, don't really want to make this too long. Um, yeah. Though I am excited with this last line in the in the paragraph here. Is there are other circuit network improvements coming that will be revealed in future Friday facts? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Which I just can't wait for. Yeah, I, I think they're working yeah. quite a bit on that. There's there's going to be a lot of circuit network stuff. Um, and then the last thing is just kind of like a 
I'm not going to read it all or anything because it's uh, pretty much just like explaining something. It's a bunch, it's a bunch of technical jargon for a very simple thing they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. That's they're, they're trying to fix a bug, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yep. They're, they're fixing a bug that um, in rare cases made it so that people would like be downloading the map, get to 100%, and it would just be stuck at 100%. I've had the bug happen to me. Really? Yeah. It was, uh, I was on my, my friend had hosted a server. I was joining his server and I got stuck at a hundred percent where like it revealed the map and where I was sitting. And on the top, it said that the map was downloading, but I couldn't do anything. It wouldn't let me mm. control anything. I was just stuck. Interesting. So oh. they're fixing that, um, which is great i guess um and then and then but but then then the, this last paragraph though Ooh. is like an actual improvement is our seating who is just like a coding god with like improvements um has made some changes so that theoretically the map download speed should be faster in 0 0.15 let's hope yeah that'd be nice Seems like they, they they keep hinting at it. Seems like fifteen is going to just be major and major coding improvements to the whole game. Oh, like massive! I mean, you know, they've mentioned tests where you know they took a map that was running at like forty FPS and UPS and stuck it in their fifteen framework, and it ran, um, like at like sixty. But I actually have somebody at my door randomly, so. I think I have to go. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we just finished up. Yeah. Then. Okay. So right. I'm sorry I have to cut it off, but thank you everyone for watching. We hope you enjoyed and uh, we love to hear your comments, but we will catch you later. Yep. Goodbye. Crying James is signing out. <laughs>